High school graduations are just around the corner, a rite of passage for most young Canadians. But imagine how it would feel to be the first in your remote community to go directly to college or university. That's what three excited teens in the Northwest Territories are gearing up for. In the tiny community of Ulohoktok, population 400, Mackenzie Scott explains what has changed to make this possible. I'm actually surprised right now. <laughs> We're graduating. <laughs> In the isolated community of Uluhoktok, three students are making history. For the first time, going straight from high school to college and university without having to upgrade their credits somewhere else. Jacob Klingenberg dreams of being an RCMP officer. I just thought I was going to like stay in the community, you know, hunt, fish. I never imagined I would be, uh, have been accepted into a recognized college. So that was amazing for me. Experience. Nadine Gunaluk says she loves the culture and closeness of her remote flying community of 400 people, but she also wants to experience the world. I don't really know what to expect from myself, but I really want to go to um, uh, just get out of here. <laughs> and because, you know, it's just too small here and there's not really much opportunities that you can take as a student or jobs here. The school can offer all the classes students required for post-secondary qualification. Everything a -okay. But thanks to technology, all that's changed through the Northern Distance Learning Program. Students in Ulu Hoktok connect with their teacher, who is more than 600 kilometers away in Inuvik via video conferencing. We feel this is a very important way to offer that equity for all the students who may not get these courses where they are currently living. And the growth that we've seen since uh, grade 10 till now when they're graduating is just, it's huge. Matt Goniuk is excited to head to Vancouver Island University in the fall and hopes others follow in his footsteps. It's pretty amazing to me to see how far we've come along as a school and as a community, and I'm pretty darn excited for this. <laughs> The program is currently offered to seven communities in the Northwest Territories, but will expand to 11 next school year, opening the door for even more young people to pursue their dreams. Mackenzie Scott, CBC News, Ulohoktok.